Good morning, folks. Lots of good stuff for your watching pleasure this holiday weekend. Plus, I'm going to take the gloves off here in a moment, so wakey, wakey. At spaceweathernews.com, we find a calm last 24 hours on our star, but with lots of things to monitor. That includes a large plasma filament snaking in on the southern hemisphere. Solar flaring is still depressed, but not as much as the solar wind, folks. This is asinine, extraordinarily low solar wind pressure, which leaves us open to cosmic rays from the galaxy, and that is exactly what we are seeing. Cosmic rays spiking at Earth. Let's get that solar wind pressure back up any time now, sunny boy. Moving on to the sunspot situation, you saw that flaring is abysmal, and it appears the cause is that the Delta candidates from yesterday are either not progressing, or they have begun to decay, say la vie. Well, what about the coronal holes? Seems like they can't stop coming one after another. Maybe another day away for that one, or maybe the coronal fields will snap back down and open up the north. Who knows with this fickle guy. Anyway, top quake of the last day was just an aftershock from the previous rumbles in this location. We also took one well above average in the Dominican Republic. Top story today is one that is getting sent around like crazy. MIT says that we are a long way away from a magnetic reversal, which would make one of my favorite websites, magneticreversal.org, utterly useless. Well, please, MIT, give me all the facts you got for this. I'm ready. Well, Ben, our field is twice as strong as the historical average, so even though it is weakening, it is doing so from a peak in strength. Oh, you were finished? Oh, well, allow me to retort. Well, we have been operating under that premise since 2013 when our phone calls and emails to related experts told us the exact same thing, that our field was currently strong, so I'm not sure that's new info. But they also explained that the weakening was about percentage. At 10% intervals, you are down to zero in 10 intervals. Doesn't matter if you start at one or a billion gazillion trillion percentages don't care. I might also add that the latest ESA data is missing from this MIT report about the further acceleration of the field loss, and the latest from Berkeley is missing, explaining why reversals accelerate and happen in as little as 80 years. Anyway, folks, after yesterday's morning news, two new videos were posted throughout the day. First, the results from our two-week trial run of using OLR anomalies to predict quake locations. It's linked below, but so is the inspiration that finally gave us the nudge to to bring this into the public eye. Solar wind affects infrared opacity, the thermal EM output, the OLR. But also we put up a highlight video from our conference in Pittsburgh. It's in music video style just like we used to do. If it is blocked in your area, try using a computer, not a mobile, and if that doesn't work, you can download the first wave crashes from otf.cells.com for free. The video also invited you to our next conference in Phoenix this January. Love it if you joined us. We've got pressure, radar, and shots of our star to close. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.